Today we're going to go over how to become a mental health coach. Um, this is something that I just started, so I'm, this is relatively new to me, and I'm just starting this on my own with very little money, if any at all. So this is what I did. Um, I started out by choosing a business name. Uh, my business name is Associated Counseling Consultants. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would have shortened the name a little bit just for logo reasons and so forth. And so anyway, you want to pick your business name is where you want to start. Um, then you have to get a, you should get a business email. I started out with a Gmail account that matched the name of my business um, while well, I couldn't get it all on there. So I had to um, do associated consultants and then I used the year at Gmail. Um, but you know what I'm getting at. You, you don't want to use your personal. You want to keep the pers personal and business separate if you can. Um, and then I set up a free website on Squared. Um, but there are other free websites that you can use that are pretty easy. There's Wix. There goes my dog. Um, hold on a second. So there's also other free websites such as Wix. That's W-I-X. Um, or GoDaddy is another one, and I'm sure there are others out there. That's just a few that I'm aware of. I just happened to pick Squared. Um, I liked because everything was in one. They had invoice in there, and there you can accept any credit card um, that's out there pretty much, and you can set up different things. So I really like Squared. So far, I'm very happy with it. Um, then setting up a social media profile is the next step. And I set up my own Facebook page, and then I waited probably about three or four weeks, and then I started a Facebook group. So it's kind of similar, and right now I'm posting whatever I post in one group, I post in the other, and I don't really want to do that for long term. But right now, that's what I'm doing. I would say pick one of the social media platforms to really concentrate on because you can't possibly keep up with all of them if you have, you know, a bunch of social media accounts. So I'd say pick one or two, maybe the max three. It doesn't mean that you can't have an account on all the social media sites, but to really own in on what you want to be doing and where you want to be at. You need like a home base, or at least that's what I think you should have as a home base. Mine's going to be Facebook, but I also use Twitter. I have an Instagram account, a Pinterest account, and of course a YouTube account. Um, and I would suggest anyone who's going to do this does videos as well. Like I'm also blogging on Pin Pingo5, um, which is a great platform. I love that. If you want to check it out, it's free. Um, but anyway, I have a blog on there that I've been doing um, at least every week, maybe more than that. But, um, but Regardless, you should have a YouTube channel because it's going to help your business in the long run because it's a search engine. People are looking for stuff on YouTube all the time. So it's just good for your business. And uh, I'm also working on an ebook on coping that I will be selling once that is set up. I will be able to sell that on my website and also on Teachable's website, I believe. That's where I'm setting it up anyway. Um, I'm just getting started with that, so <laughs> um, nothing set in stone on that one. Um, yeah, I told you about the blog. I did pr place a bunch of free ads. Um, I'm not going to say that I wasted my time, but I think that time could have been better utilized in another area. 
Um, but I guess you never know who's going to look at an ad. You know, I think other people that have posted free ads might happen to see your ad and things like that. So you never know. I did pay $5 to put an ad on Craigslist and I haven't had one lead from there yet. So I don't know if I'm going to continue with that. I thought it would be a good idea, but I don't know, five bucks isn't a lot, but still, you know, it really wasn't a return on my investment, I guess, for all five dollars, right? Anyway, so you want to also post ads in the Facebook groups. Um, not, don't spam a bunch of groups. I don't recommend spamming a bunch of groups or anything like that, but there's certain ad groups or maybe even some local groups that you could um, see if other people are posting in there or just go in and introduce yourself and say what you do, but don't just like pop in and post a bunch of links or anything. Um, for myself, I was going to do some offline advertising so I have some flyers and brochures that I printed up myself and I just used Word for that Microsoft Word but I'm sure you could do that on Google um, or other platforms I'm sure um what else I set up the acuity scheduling that's spelled A C U I T Y um a-C-U-I-T-Y is how you spell it, and it's free, but they calendly, calendly, calendarly, okay, one of those, <laughs> don't quote me on that exactly, but that's also a free one, and some websites have their schedulers already on there. Um, and to have a Zoom account because um, you'll want to be using that for your business as much as possible. Um, you can have invoices go through Stripe or your own website. Um, and you should have Google Drive is probably the best thing for shared documents and stuff. And that's also free. Um, I got my prices and packages all put together, um, and I put those on my website. I have to say that I changed my prices after I watched other health coaches and see what they were doing to kind of stay in, stay competitive, I guess you would say. So I did make some adjustments to my prices. But I think you also have to look at not what everyone else is doing, but what is going on in your area. Like where I'm at, I'm in Youngstown, Ohio, and it's kind of a depressed area here. So I took that into consideration with my prices where... um other people in different areas really may not have to worry about that as much. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so that pretty much... Um, was that the only thing I wanted to say? Yep, I think that pretty much um, winds everything up. The next video, I'm going to have what I'm going to be working on next. Um, which is what I'm going to be working on next. So I will see you for that video and thank you for watching. If you have any questions um, and if you got any value out of this at all, please like and subscribe. Share this video if you'd like. Um, you might want to watch it again. I might have went through it a little bit fast in some areas, but I think you get the picture. There's a lot to do. This was just the first month of the business, and you can see it's like constant things to do. It's not really like you set it up and you go on vacation or something. It's like at first there's going to be a lot of work that's going to go into it. But I think in the long run, it's going to really work out. But it might take a year or so.
Um, it just depends how aggressive you are and so forth. So, okay, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.